Daniel baked some chocolate and banana muffins. He gave away three-fifths of the chocolate muffins and three-seventh of the banana muffins. The number of chocolate muffins left was the same as the number of banana muffins left. Daniel had 352 muffins. I pause here and I look at this number, 352, and I link it with the previous sentence. Does it give you a clue to the next step? Since Daniel had 352 muffins left, and the previous sentence says, the number of chocolate muffins left was the same as the number of banana muffins left. So, I can take 352 divided by 2, getting 176. What does this 176 mean? It means there are 176 banana muffins left, or it can also be chocolate muffins left. Seems that the number is the same. Next question, um, the final question, how many banana muffins did Daniel bake? So they want to know at first, Daniel baked how many only banana, banana muffins? So our focus, let's look at this sentence. This part of the sentence. Three seven of the banana muffins was given away. And let's look at this three seven, this fraction here. What does this fraction tell you? Three units is given away. And seven units is total units. So, how many units was left? So I'm going to take 1 minus 3, 7. I get 7 out of 7 minus 3, 7 equals to 4 out of 7. That means I have 4 units that is left. So linking that to my question, 4 units is equal to 176. And the question wants to know how many banana muffins did he bake, which means I am finding out 7 units. So my first step is I have to find out 1 unit. To find out, 100, I will take 176 divided by 4. Then I multiply by 7 units, which is the units that I'm finding here. So my final answer would be 308. And that's my final answer. Please support by subscribing and sharing the videos. Thank you.